This is uh, for sure a historical date for several reasons. It is the first time ever that the Council met outside the European Union. It is the first time that we met in a candidate country. And unfortunately, it is also it was also the first time that the foreign ministers of the European Union meet in a country at war. By coming to Kyiv, the European Union foreign ministers sent a strong message of solidarity and support to Ukraine in the face of this uh, unjust and illegitimate war. But happily, Russia seems determined to continue its illegal actions, violating international rules and base order, and putting global diplomacy to the test. This means that we have to work more together. And we have started doing that, but well, not started because we have been doing that for months. But today's discussion has provided us with a better idea of the security dimension of this situation. This has been a central discussion today with President Zelensky and with Minister Kuleba. We have been talking about the security commitments that we want to provide to Ukraine, showing our determination to stand by Ukraine in the long term to deter acts of aggression and resist the destabilization efforts by Russia. I propose a new bilateral multi-annual envelope on the European Peace Facility of uh, up to 5 billion for the next year. Year, in singular, more will come. And I hope that we can reach an agreement before the end of the year when we have to agree, member states have to agree on the, multi, um, the review of the multi-annual financial framework. We continue training Ukrainian soldiers. The target today is to train 40,000 in the coming months, and this includes specialized training, training for fighter jets pilots. And for sure, the strongest security commitments that we can give to Ukraine is European Union membership. This is the strongest security commitment for Ukraine. The Zelensky's President Peace Formula is the only peace initiative discussed in the international community. Others were mentioned, but they have uh, disappeared. The only one that remains the only one that attracts the attention and the work of the international community is President Zelensky's peace formula. It is, a, we can say, the only game in town. It is the formula that this joint meeting of the European Union foreign ministers with Ukraine in Kyiv should be understood as a clear commitment of the European Union to Ukraine and this continued support in all dimensions. To support military, to support for peace, for a just peace, accountability, and working for the membership path. And it's also sending a strong signal to Russia. A strong signal to Russia. We are not intimidated by your missiles or drones. This is a historic event because for the first time ever Foreign Affairs Council is going to sit down outside of its current borders of the borders of the European Union but within future borders of the European Union and this is a message in itself a message of support unflattered support that the European Union is extending uh, to Ukraine, which we are very much grateful for. We had uh, an opportunity with High Representative to discuss uh, the upcoming meeting and the issues that will be on the table. 
and we're very, I'm very much looking forward to having this discussion and uh, moving forward with the uh, support and our joint effort to ensure safety and prosperity of Europe. Please. Thank you for hosting us and thank you for inviting me yesterday to participate on the events to honor the Ukrainian combatants. Today, the Minister of the European Union traveled to Kyiv to hold these uh, meetings. These kind of meetings are called informal because first they are out of the premises of the European Union and secondly because uh, they are considered a high-level political debate that has not the aim of uh, reaching concrete conclusions and decisions, but it is the kind of brainstorming that we need to do among us and together with you in order to look at uh, the situation of the war against Ukraine, how the European Union is supporting it, Ukraine, and how we will continue doing that. We will study the peace plan formula, Zelensky plan formula, in order to gather more support around the world and prepare the next summit. All my colleagues come here, dear Dimitro, with the will to show, to express to their commitment and the commitment of the European Union to continue supporting you in front of the war of aggression across the other regions. Well, the question is whether what happened in the U.S. Congress uh, last weekend is an incident uh, or uh, a system. I think it was an incident. Uh, we uh, have a very in-depth discussion with both parts of the, uh, of the Congress, Republicans and Democrats, and uh, against the background of the potential shutdown in the United States, the decision was taken as it was, uh, but we are now working with both sides of the Congress to make sure that uh, it does not repeat again under any circumstances. So we don't feel that the U.S. court has been shattered. Because this war is having deep consequences for the whole world, but for us Europeans, it's an existential threat. Maybe it's not being seen like this for everybody around the world, but for us Europeans, allow me to repeat it, it's an existential threat. And that's why we have to continue supporting them and discussing with our American allies and friends for them to continue supporting them. And I am sure that this uh, decision will be reconsidered and altogether will be on your side. About elections in Ukraine is not my business. I am in charge of foreign affairs of the relations with the European Union, not internal politics 